In this video, we're going to demonstrate probably one of the best uh, fold-away bikes that you can get for either an RV or a boat, and that is a Montague uh, Paratrooper or some of the other Montague series bikes. Okay, to show you how the thing packs in, uh, we're going to sh show you how it fits in the, into our basement here. So as we open up our uh, our storage area. You can see that we have our bike in here in a bag and it fits in there perfectly. And so now we're going to show you how it's assembled. Well, the the uh, bike we have here, the Montague uh, Paratrooper, it weighs about 26 pounds. So it's not the lightest bike, but uh, it's a very rugged bike, uh, mountain bike style. Very rugged for being a fold-up bike. So uh, we're going to uh, start taking it apart here. Now, the one thing about this bag is the original handlebars would fit in the bag completely, but uh, they were uh, a little bit uncomfortable for me, so I put in some, put in a riser and put in a little bit taller handlebars. So we're going to start taking the uh, bag out of the bike here, and, and the uh, bag will completely unzip um, front to back. The bag also has Velcro uh, straps that actually Velcro to the bike frame itself so that the straps uh, won't let loose of the bag. Okay, so the first thing that comes out of the bag is the front wheel. And then the rest of the bike just kind of lifts off the bag. Okay, now we can start assembling the bike. Okay, the first step in assembling the bicycle is to raise the frame up and open it up like so. And then there's a cam uh, lock here that you got to push down and then the rest of the way. And then that locks it in place. Now you put some tension on it. So you get a good amount of tension and that locks in place. Now the good thing about this uh, bike, uh, which is superior uh, to the rest of the folding type bikes, is along this uh, tube here, the seat tube, this is where the hinge is. So the hinge is actually right here. Most fold away bikes are inferior because they have their hinge up here where it's a lot weaker. The second step then is to install the front tire and you do that by just lifting this up and kind of guiding it in the front here by opening these and it's a little bit tricky because this does have a disc brake and you got to get the disc brake within the disc itself but like before you just kind of rotate this until it gets tight and then you close it tight like that. So now that's the uh, front wheel. And finally, uh, the seat goes on. And again, just like the rest of them, uh, this is a no tool type operation to put the seat on. This is uh, not the seat that it came with. I bought the seat extra. Uh, because it's a little wider and it's got a little bit of uh, uh, gel foam there because I'm getting a little older and um, kind of helps with my rear end if you know what I mean. So the last step before we can ride is we have to deploy the pedals and they just snap in place like there and over here on this one same thing. Okay let me give you kind of an overview of the bike. Uh, this is a SRAM X5 derailleur with eight gears in the rear, three gears in the front, and if my math is right that's 24 gears. 
the uh, front of the uh, handlebars here. The shift levers are the push down tight. This goes one direction, that goes the other. Uh, around to this side, as I had indicated earlier, got a, got a disc brake, uh, hydraulic front fork, and actually this thing is called a paratrooper because their target um, uh, customer is the military. And I don't know how many military units have actually used this, but if you look at their uh, website, you'll see some video uh, of guys paratrooping um, out of an airplane with one of these things folded up strapped to their chest. Uh, I don't know if uh, how many times that would happen, but um, I certainly don't have any intents to jump out of an airplane with one of these things on my chest. However, um, I figure if a bike can handle that kind of punishment, it certainly can handle any kind of punishment I can deal with it. So anyway, uh, again, this is uh, the Montague Paratrooper.